so welcome uh, to the throne zone. Talking about Game of Thrones. We're getting in them thrones tonight. Yeah, we diving deep, going into the story, going into the episode. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. All right. What do we uh, talk about first? Uh, so I'm going to talk about something that uh, – some of the side stuff because I love all the little things that will happen in the episode. Let's talk about the side stuff. Uh, I love the side stuff. Let's talk about – Let's talk about the Hound being back in, getting shit done. Patriot. Yeah. Full-blown Patriot. Like, he's going... Hatchet. Yeah. Axe. He, but he, it's a hatchet to him. I know. He pretty much... Everything about the Patriot is the Hound this episode, and I love it. Yeah. Because I love the Patriot, I love the Hound, yeah. so I'm just digging the entire package. Hound had some great one-liners. Yeah. I loved his little one-liners about, like, just, like, this yeah. one's mine. Oh, and that line that is, like, don't try to kill me, girl. Tougher girls have tried to kill me I was before. Like, Aria and Brienne. Oh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it, it was really, it was really great to see him just kicking ass. Uh, may possibly joining up with that group. Oh, he's joining up with them. Let's yeah, be no, they're so cool. I, I just, I love that the Hound is back in it. Yeah. He's such a great character, and he's so entertaining to watch. He's been my favorite for one of my favorites for a long time. So it's really nice to see him back in the show. Um, Arya got her groove back. Like miraculously, the, somehow healed from yeah. her stab wounds and was then parkouring. I know through the streets. That seemed a little unrealistic, but I was okay with it. But then Terminator. Uh huh. Wave. Yeah. Ari, Terminator wave. Arya's new groove. <laughs> Arya's new groove. Yeah. She needs a musical number. She needs uh. She needs David Spade. That's gonna be great. All right. So for me, there are parts I liked about it. I mm-hmm. liked. Now that I think about it, I do like the candle thing. I yeah. like the candle thing and the lack of fighting and it just cutting to the, to the to the master of the faceless. Yeah, I was saying, like it was, looking at the blood. It was really badass. I liked that a lot. Um, I love the reveal that her face was on the wall. Wave's face was just on the wall, and he just bless you. Bless you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Sneezy time. laughs> How dare you allude to the fact that you are a human being? I know. I was just like trying to hold it in, and I was like, uh, uh yeah, no, just can't em- do it. Just embrace it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, Arya is just like, she got it back. Yeah. No. She pretty much just says, I'm Arya Stark. Yeah. Drop the mic. And he's like, okay. He's like, I don't know. I hope we get some powers out of this. I hope we get something out of this that can make her go great distances because she is just on an island by herself right now. See, I think she got a lot of fighting experience fighting experience out of it. She got a lot of training. Yeah. And I think that's going to be enough to at least help her survive. Okay. Yeah, sure. So I'm pretty excited. I mean, it'd be pretty dope if she got like, it's like, by the way, now you can summon a fireball. No, no, it should be something shadowy. Yeah, right? uh, shadowy. It's got to be shadowy. A shadow ball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Okay. Um, Is Arya going to become Mewtwo? You heard it here first. Mewtwo, Arya. <laughs> this is the throne zone. <laughs> this is the throne zone. The end. <laughs> Uh, now, how badass would it have been if it just ended with her cutting the candle? Uh, I thought that's where it was going to end. So did I. And I was like, that's kind of badass. You know, that would have been a good way for the episode to end. I feel like that would have been great. And then it just started with the reveal yeah, yeah, yeah. of the face being there. I think that would have been a great ending. Uh, I do too, but maybe maybe they wanted to end it this episode. That way she has more to do throughout the next two episodes. Well, and it sounds like the next episode is going to be all about one, one thing, which they sometimes do. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like the battle of... Um, the battle of uh, the castle. Yeah, yeah. Castle of back in the day. Mm-hmm. Is that season two? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, actually, that was like a full blown hour of just a war. That mm-hmm. was awesome. That's and what it sounds like this one's gonna be. Well, I'm hoping that's what we get. Yeah. Um. Yeah. A lot of budgetary things. It seemed like tonight the blackfish thing was big. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't show him getting killed. The anti siege mm-hmm. was a pretty big letdown. Um, we got some great things with your side characters. Yes. Braun and Pop. Oh, it was so cool. I loved it. I, I sound giddy about it because I am giddy. I'm no, it was great. I love the like magic cock line. Like, yeah. what are you doing with this magic cock? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was super good. He's just like, he pretty much just did the bro like, did you bang her? Uh, I banged her. Did you bang her? I banged her. Yeah. And it was just like a great line. No, it, it really, it felt great uh, to see those two together again. Uh, and yeah, you know what? It, it was really, it was a comic relief it, uh, that was much needed in this episode. Uh, yeah, I yeah. agree. Um, mm-hmm. All their comic relief, we got ourselves some Tyrion action, telling mm-hmm. some jokes. That's true, but for me, Tyrion has been really... He's been in that one room and just walking around the streets of this yeah. entire, like... Yeah, it's been, his scenes have been falling short, and it's because they, they can't utilize him that well. Mm-hmm. Actually, ever since he, he 
he got out of Westeros, he has not been as entertaining to me. Or he hasn't been as good of a character to me anymore. I liked the journey, and I liked when he got to where Daenerys is at. Yeah. And then once he got there is when she, he kinda, she kind of like cursed him with her anti-plot device. Yeah, which sucks, because he's a great character, and he's right. a great actor, so he should oh, be yeah. doing more. Yeah, but he did seal his fate tonight with his little story about wanting to open up a vineyard. Yeah. You're dead, man. That's not looking Don't good. Don't share your future on this show. Never share You're your dead. future. You're dead. Although Ron got away with it. He's not dead yet. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Yet. But I feel like it's a major character thing. Like, if it, you're a major character, yeah. you're like, you know what I'd really like to do? I'd like to marry that person and go settle down by a farm. Mm-hmm. You know what's going to happen? Next you're done. Episode? You're done, son. You're going to get slaughtered and fed to pigs. Yeah. I'm assuming. Uh, probably. Um, so, I mean, I love the Brianna Tarth and Jamie re- reunion. Yeah, that was great. That was really sweet. That was probably my favorite moment in the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and I liked the Jamie, like, kind of um, confessing that he's like, I'm always doing this yeah. for Cersei. Oh, and it's yeah. just like, damn, like, that's love. Yeah, man. That's some incestual love. Yeah, that is some incestual love. Incestual love, baby. Uh, but, uh, no, it was a very intense, like, quietly intense scene, which yeah. I, I always appreciate those. Mm-hmm. When you can feel the intensity without, like, any, like, shouting or something like that, yeah. it's always great. Right, right. Um... Yeah, I mean that's a big thing. I loved I loved Hound as well. Hound going all patriot on people. Uh, zombie Mountain. Zombie Mountain just yeah. straight Mortal Kombating somebody. Yeah, like, man. That was a fatality if I've ever seen one. And I really respected Cersei for finally being the only person to stand up to this faith in a major way. Yeah. But Even though she started this monster to begin with, which yeah. I think is great. But you know what? She's taking responsibility for it. She's like, no, go fuck yourself. And I loved it. That is what the king should be doing. Yeah, I definitely think that like our best, our best thing is is going forward is she's got something cooking. Yes, and I love that because the king is just going to continue to be boring as fuck. Yeah, he's just gonna continue siding with this boring faith. Yeah, and it's just like like it's gonna go downhill. I want this arc to be done with because it's it is just tedious. It's very tedious. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, let's let's not go on a low note. Let's just mm-hmm. let's speak to how excited we are for the next episode. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for the next episode. We're gonna get big old battle. Yeah, snow be snow. Snow be snow in the snow. <laughs> That's a lot of snow. I like that. I do too. Let's say that. Boom. Next time. That's uh, you know what? we got next it. Next week. Yeah. Be be ready, audience. Tune back in next week for the throne zone. Snow be snow be snow. All right, guys. Peace.